Olá, cripto investidores, sou Leonardo Cavalcante, repórter do Crypto Times. Estou aqui no evento da Storm, né? uma DAO que pretende fazer financiamentos né? para a ciência por meio da Web3 e blockchain. E nesse evento hoje chamaram alguns é, famosos, Dave Show, né? uh, e um desses foi o Matt Serum, ex Guns N' Roses. E a gente vai conversar aqui um pouco com ele agora para saber o que ele acha sobre esse mundo Web3, é, blockchain e quais são os planos para ele no futuro. Fiquem ligados. Thank you for receiving me and uh, for uh, answering my question. So, I was wondering if uh, why do you think that uh, NFT is still seen uh, like an uh, investment asset or you know like a, a silly monkey and and while uh, the NFT actually can bring us uh, all these uh, wonderful things and all this centralization. But people still see NFTs or meta or metaverse as a risk investment or risk asset or a, uh, just silly monkeys. Why do you think that? Art has always been a little bit risky, right? Art or whatever kind of thing you want to buy on an NFT, you got to look at it and say, well, I like it. It's just like buying a piece of art. What does it mean to you, right? A non fungible token is something that's. You gotta look at it like this. If you go to an art auction and you're sitting at Christie's auction house, there's only a room full of people. They're there. The thing about NFTs is it's worldwide. Everyone's watching. Right? We've created a marketplace worldwide. So the marketplace and the value value of what an NFT means is basically done by the community that wants that particular NFT, right? Unchained Monkey and, you know, all the other crazy stuff that's gone nuts. Uh, Dapper Labs with NFT hot shots, you know, NBA hot shots. Like, if you look at baseball cards, people used to collect baseball cards like this, and it was a physical item. So it's digitized in content, and, it, you know, a piece of art on an NFT be able to keep it in that particular, you know, form digitally, and it's valuable. It's whatever value it's stated as, and then the market does what it's going to do. But, and, but I think the NFT thing is it's much deeper than that. And I'm, I'm going to use it to, to, for impact. I'm going to use it for good. And I'm going to put it out there that people can be involved part of because blockchain can keep that information. There's so many things you can do with NFTs. It's just endless. But you gotta remember it's in it's in newer 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 days. It's, I've seen NFTs since about six years ago with Image and Heat. I was there when they released uh, Crypto Kitties, uh Gapper Labs with Richard Branson. I was with Richard Branson when they released Crypto Kitties. And we we're all like, what is that? And it was like little digital cats. The next thing we knew, it was crazy because people love cats. People love flowers. People love French bulldogs. People love art. People love music. People love baseball. People love basketball. So it's all about what do you love? And I'm excited about the future of NFTs. I think it's very early days. But we can do more. Good Noise is my label, Three Storm. I'm going to release an NFT hopefully in the next couple months. It's going to be very powerful. Uh, it's going to be about impact. People are going to be part of this cause. And we're, going to, we're, going to, we're going to raise funds in this NFT and bring people together at the same time. Create like an NGO online digitally, like an NGO. Because you got to remember, philanthropic M NGOs can be corrupt too. There's a lot of shit that goes on in the NGO world. You give your money to a charity, and you're like, wait, did it all get to where it needed to go? Right? Decentralization will prove to people that that is the reality. That you cannot corrupt the system. Right? It's a marker. It says, look, the money is. This is the money that came in. This is the money that went out to the cause. That's important. Because, you know, when you want to give to a charity and help people, you want to make sure that it arrives where it's supposed to go. So 
I think we can solve a lot of problems with NGOs and philanthropic work with blockchain, NFTs. So that's exciting too. And that's what I like to do. How can uh, how can we make a uh, built and uh, voting system that is uh, ah. equal in a DAO? Come on, <laughs> look at what just happened in the United States. What a joke! In a I DAO. mean, what the fact that people got to go in and like punch a little card with their pencil. I'm like, are you guys living in a Neanderthal years? This is like ancient. It's like, please, everyone can do this on the blockchain tomorrow. But the problem is. The system is so old that it's going to take time to get past the old people. You know, they're like, oh, so we like it this way, it's working just fine. Well, obviously it's not. We just had a major uproar in America because the political system is, is broken. It's fractured. Look what happened on Facebook. Data. They're stealing your data. They're, they're force feeding you uh, fake news creating stories because we're out of control. Some guys over at Facebook are. And I don't want them to steal my dad, cookie, cookie, cookie. It's like that that system is broken. So it's time for a new system. In my opinion, the internet is, is about done in its form that it's in now, Web 2. So you know, we need to move into this Web3 metaverse, which will, I think, let me, let me uh, say five years. It'll move fast, because the world's moving faster all the time. You think five years? Yeah. Five years. In five years, we'll be going, oh yeah, man, that's what we talked about that. And we thought, oh, whoa, 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 so I don't know. Right? But it wasn't very long ago that Bitcoin was sort of like, what is Bitcoin? Is that like going to Las Vegas? No. It's not Las Vegas. You're not gambling. It's like any investment. It's no different than an IPO. When you invest in something that's building, you have to be believe that it will build to a point where you're like, okay, this is not going anywhere. We saw that happen but you know the stock market's dropping too so things but yeah sorry I'm sorry do you have Bitcoin in, uh, in your wallet so, so you, you have that's for my own personal no, okay, business sorry. but you want to check me out <laughs> sorry, I mean. sorry 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 <laughs> it's a blockchain transparency sorry <laughs> well you know I'm an, I'm, a, I'm an environmentalist right I, 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 I do different charities for animals and I'm a planet guy I'm an environmentalist so I I use, uh, I'm really, I'm a big fan of Cardano, I'm a big fan of Polygon, I like the little guys, you know, I met Hoskinson when I was in Davos, he's a very intelligent guy, I've been rooting for them, we've got less, less sort of carbon uh, footprint, Cardano, Polygon, uh, Tezo, Tezo's cool, we dig what they're doing, so you gotta remember, I mean, Bitcoin and Ethereum were something that, you know, there was copycats, but they they saw what they were doing and said, how can we make this better? And uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of like a, I've always been sort of like a go little guy, you know? And so I have money on some of the small ones too, and I believe in that. And we, for the, for the final question, uh, can we see uh, in a moment soon, uh, a show of yours in the central land of Singapore. You will be in the metaverse, or well, we're building the metaverse for good noise. My label, yeah, we're building okay. the metaverse. So I'm going to allow people to come into my world, right, and what I do. And, you know, walk around, cruise around, look at my stuff. You know, <laughs> uh, drum set. You want to see my drum set? <laughs> you know, it's not like, hey, let's all go look at my drum set. But like, no. Right? Uh, so we're building that. I have Good Noise Studios being just finished. We're going to metaverse that. Uh, it's really cool.